become our student, and get access to effective and free educational materials. Hey, Fred, you are five minutes earlier than me today. Usually, you don't. Hurry, it is time for me to steal something. What's your meaning? I am stealing vegetables at the Happy Farm. You are a thief? No, no, I mean stealing vegetables on internet is very popular now. Many white collars join in this game and have a lot of fun by stealing other vegetables. You mean it is a still virtual game? Your friends steal your vegetables time and time again, and you take theirs as well, right? You got what I meant. Perhaps, what I steal are not vegetables, but loneliness. Don't be addicted to the game. It's not good for your job. Mary, how was your date with John? It's okay. It seems we have a lot in common. Oh, really? That is great news. What does he look like? He is tall and slim, fair-haired. Sounds like he is pretty cute. What do you think of him? He is a nice guy and very considerate. I am impressed with how smart and humorous. Oh, it's love at first sight. Happy birthday. This is for you, Brian. I'm so happy you remember. Please come in and enjoy the party. Everyone's here. I'm sure you have a good time. Brian, may I have a pleasure to have a dance with you? Okay. This is really wonderful party. Yes, you are always popular with everyone. And you look very pretty today. Thanks, that's very kind of you to say. I hope my necklace goes with my dress, and they both make me look good I feel. You look great, you are absolutely glowing. Thanks, this is a fine party. We should have a drink together to celebrate your birthday. I would back him up to the hilt anyway. Why are you so kind to him? He's my brother. So that's how it is. Now he's in trouble, but I believe he will rise to his own feet again. Thanks for your belief. Small world, isn't it? Indeed, it is. I never imagined meeting you here. It's really a surprise. What do you think of smoking? It's harmful, not only for yourself but for others. What in your opinion can be done to stop smoking? Stop producing cigarettes. But that'll affect the national economy. That's right, but I don't think there are better ways. How about printing a warning on each cigarette packet? Maybe it can take effect. Did you play football yesterday? Yes, I played with Tony and John. What did you do after you'd played football? We all went swimming. Are you going swimming again this afternoon? No, we aren't. We're going to help Mr. Smith to plant some flowers. Are you helping him all afternoon? Yes, we are. We can neither play football nor do our homework today. You're going to be very busy. Yes, we certainly are. But Mr. Smith is going to pay us for all the work we'll do. You are too picky. No, I'm not. Hey, look at that guy over there. Which guy? 
The guy in the blue shirt at the table by the window. I can't see him. Where? Right there. Oh, I see him now. Wait, that's... Yes, it's Mel Gibson. Oh, wow, it's really him. Who is that woman he's with? I don't know. Why don't you go ask for his autograph? I can't do that. Why not? Whose part do you think is best played? That of the old man. You're absolutely right. That's the very figure I like best. Some of the scenes moved me into tears. So, how'd everyone do? Well, there's this clock I was my vintage clock. How do you have my clock? Your vintage clock? I just paid $65 for it. 65? What the? How did you bargain him down, Way, You've never even been to a flea market before. It must be my special touch. I think bargaining is in my blood. Never underestimate a woman when it comes to bargaining. Thanks for inviting me to your friend's wedding. I was surprised to hear the bride and groom talking to each other that way during the marriage ceremony. Is that common? Well, some people use a standard set of words, but many couples today write their own wedding vows. Your tradition of throwing rice as they got into their car was interesting, but it didn't look like real rice to me. It wasn't. It was birdseed. We don't throw rice anymore because someone discovered that birds come along and eat the rice and have trouble digesting it. Oh, I didn't think of that. Well, this reception reminds me of wedding parties back in China. Plenty of food and drink, music and dancing, and interesting traditions. Wait until you see what happens next. The bride is getting ready to throw her bouquet. Let's go over and watch. She's got quite a crowd around her. Oh, look, that little girl caught it. She's my friend's ten-year-old niece. I guess there won't be another wedding in this family for a long time. Michael Jackson's coming to town. I couldn't care less. Hi, Julie. I was in your neighborhood and I'd like to drop by. Come on in. Would you care for a drink? That sounds refreshing. Thanks. Why are you all dressed up? I've got a date. Do you mind if I sit here? No, of course not. Go ahead. Don't I know you? Yes, now that you mention it. I think we had a chemistry class together in high school. You're right. How are you? It's been a long time. What did you do after high school? I went straight to university afterwards. What about you? I took a year off to go traveling. That sounds exciting. Where did you go? I went all over the world. It was the best year of my life. Where did you go to school? I went to a small school in Connecticut. It has a very good reputation for its languages department. Oh, did you study a foreign language? Yes. I got a grant to study Chinese. That's a very difficult language to learn, isn't it? It is, but it's very rewarding. So you can speak Chinese? I can, but not as well as I'd like to. I'll be studying Chinese until the day I die. 
I think most languages take a lifetime to learn well. Are you coming or not? I haven't decided yet. Well, make up your mind. We need to know. Okay, count me in. Have you ever been to Japan? I'm going in the fall. Yeah, I've been there twice. Really? Tell me about it. What's it like? Oh, it's fantastic. Where did you go? On my first trip I went to Tokyo, and on my second trip I visited Kyoto. What did you think of Tokyo? Very big and exciting, but very crowded, too. Yeah, I've seen pictures of the crowds. And the restaurant are excellent but they're kind of expensive. And how about Kyoto? Kyoto is lovely. It's full of beautiful old temples and gardens. It's a very historic city. How was the weather? I was in Tokyo in August, and it was really hot and humid. I went to Kyoto in October. It was hot and sunny, but there was no humidity. Sounds perfect. I can't wait. What was that noise? It was the pilot putting the wheels down. We must be coming into land. Are you frightened? Frightened? You must be joking. I've had enough of that. Why? This is the most interesting film. I hate the hero. He's too cruel. But it's only a film. Hi, Mike. What gives? Hi. Bill, this is my new car. Hey, great set of wheels. You like it, huh? Who wouldn't? Wow, that's out of this world. It is special, isn't it? Yeah, too cool. How much did they sold you for? Lots. Looks like I'll have to moonlight for the next two years. I can imagine. Hey, let's go for a spin. You can try it out. I'd love to. Okay, let's go. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively.